Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Morning folks, it's a sort of misty sort of day, which it has been the last few days in the mornings and it clears up. Hopefully it should clear up today a bit. Um, I've been having one of these this morning and my favorite coffee. And that practically is all the food left apart from like, a... so this is the only other food I've got left. I've basically the campsite owner gave me these two I, I, there was four more i could have took them i should have but i was thinking oh i can't make porridge i've got no milk but you can use water of course but it sounds a bit gross but if you're starving i don't even like porridge but yeah if you're starving you gotta eat haven't you and um i found this in the kitchen someone left behind so i've got this and that's it to get over 28 miles of mountains and this is making me worry a bit because that's just not enough to carry that bag i've got so I might go into um, into um, the nearest town on the bus, then I'll have to hitchhike back because there's not another bus to three o'clock coming back. Okay folks, that was a nice stay at the campsite here. I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I've decided that I'm going to um, I'm going to go walk ahead, I'm going to push ahead, I'm not going to go to the shops. I think I can do it. It's 27 miles across the mountains to Kirk Yenem. I've done it twice this bit before. Once on the Pennine Way and once on the John O'Groats to Land's End. So I, I got some idea what it's like. I know the first bit is very steep walk up. It's going to be quite hard, burn a lot of calories. I've got two little sachets of porridge and a sachet of tuna that's the only food i've got but i also plan on staying the night out of the, one of the refuge huts tonight rather than pushing on to kurt yenham because as you see my backpack is very big walking up 27 miles with this over the mountains i could do it but i don't want to do it what's the point i want to enjoy this Right, well, heading up now, up the Cheviots on the Pennine Way, doing my uh, English Scottish border walk. Right, folks, my um, View Ranger app is um, is playing up. It's not giving me a correct reading. Uh, luckily, I've got a proper GPS. It's a bit slower, but it gives a much better reading. So I'm not sure what's wrong with View Ranger at the moment, but yeah, it's not a uh, giving me a correct reading so I've just stopped put my bag off for a bit and sorting it out okay I'm on the uh, Pennine Way now going up the Cheviots but the route I was taking was a border ridge route which could do the same but this is a slightly quicker route and I'm bound by a time limit unfortunately because I booked a bus at the end so yeah if i had the time i would do the border ridge bit there but this eventually joins the border anyway <coughs> i'm guessing this route i don't know if it's easier but it's a quicker quicker route up quicker uh to you know my end destination <sighs> yeah this bit is steep with this big bag anyway it's not, like, it's not stupidly steep, but it's, it's giving me some good exercise anyway. <laughs> it's 
someone walking their dog up here. They ain't got a backpack on like this, so still. Yeah, without a backpack, it's, it's not. But I'll be able to run up here to be honest. So I do hill running. So probably run to the top, no problem. As I said, I've done I've done this bit twice in previous hikes. Um, probably when it was more overgrown actually and you, you really couldn't see this route at all it was all you just couldn't see it pretty, pretty much had to make your own route up going up here in the uh, hotter months don't know if that's an old standing stone i've seen it before or is it wood oh that's wood <laughs> not stone it looked like a stone got sweat pouring off my face at the moment don't normally get that but it is a warm day actually considering I'm walking up this uh, steep hill or mountain whatever you want to call it with um, a big backpack I seriously need to remember to pack a belt on my trousers next time because because I'm losing weight the trousers are too loose now I ain't got a belt very annoying I'm doing all this on those little calories. I just had a tin of beans, that's the last. It's not, even, not a decent meal in itself, is it? But that's the last meal, I, uh, meal with calories that I have until Kirk Yenham. I've only got like small portions of porridge, two small sachets of porridge, and a tuna sachet for 27 miles. I'm spending the night up here as well. Yeah. Just come from down there. I'll go up here. It's not too tricky. I've gone up and come down this before. I think both in good weather. And it's good weather today. It's Scotland, the other side of the border.
glad I brought my own water with me. This is the only water I've seen all day up here. It's not flowing, it's stagnant. Okay, so this is the uh, inside the uh, sh the emergency shelter, the first one on the way, which I've slept in before, I believe. Okay, okay, folks. Well, I've just made myself a protein drink, which I've just drunk, and now I've got some water on the boil for um, a coffee. Then I have a bit of um, a rest then I'll be on my way again. I was hoping some food would be left here, but uh, unfortunately there isn't. Sometimes you get that at boffies or emergency shelters. Just waiting for my uh, coffee to cool down to drink. Um, and I'll put some dry socks on, I think. And I think I'll make a move because um, I think it's a few kilometers away the next time. I'm not sure to be honest how many kilometers it is. Um, I just remember the last two times I've done been up here um, there are two huts and there's the other one it hasn't got as a refuge hut it's got a, it just says hut I think
folks, if you want to experience the uh, English-Scottish border, the bit in the Cheviots that follows the Pennine Way is incredible. I highly recommend it.